Welcome to the Ask Donna video blog. And this month's question is from John Ryan. He is a vice principal in a school in Connecticut. And he says, Donna, my question for you is what advice do you have for teachers to make shop classes and group lab assignments comfortable, respectful, and welcoming to women in non-traditional programs? So first of all, hats off to you for recognizing that you need to do some things differently. So I'm going to give you three things, and the first one is that often I see that labs have pictures of male students uh, up uh, for many decades, and so in order to counteract the all-male photographs, you may want to have a banner like this one that features women in that career pathway. That's going to help them feel like they belong. The second thing is that when you do team assignments, you want to make sure that they're structured and that you rotate the roles in the team so everybody gets a chance to do the hands-on work. There's a lot of research that shows if you don't do that, then female students will end up taking the notes instead of actually doing the lab. This is also going to help your male students that may not be as strong. The third thing that I want to suggest is that I've often seen labs that are maybe full of a lot of uh, equipment or uh, different parts, and so it's important to have a lab that uh, uh, doesn't look junky. And the other thing related to that is you also want to look at the space and make sure, for example, I worked with a school whose computer labs were jammed up uh, next to each other, the desks. So literally the students would be touching knees and that would be uncomfortable. So they separated them. So those are some ideas. Um, we actually have a one hour module in our Women Tech training just on this. It's also an important part of the retention plan. And if you're interested in more information, then fill out the professional development inquiry form right here. I look forward to talking with you very soon.